Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pyle. If you're new here, it's nice to meet you. So as you kind of saw from the beginning of this video, I just wanted to show you some clips of my week, um, starting out with a nice park walk that me and my husband took. The weather where I live has been getting super nice, and I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate winter. So we just decided as much as we can after work, we are just gonna go to the park, take really nice long walks together, and just kind of enjoy the warmth as we get it until it pretty much hits summer. Other than that, my husband and I went to Philadelphia so that he could get his tattoo touched up. And while we were in Philadelphia, we went to an epic vintage clothing sale. So there is this clothing place that I go to where I can find vintage pieces and where they get their pieces essentially is a giant warehouse called Bulk Vintage and I can link their website in the description box. But every now and then in order for them to clear out their inventory and kind of bring in some space for new items, they will have what's called a public day where it costs $20 a person just to walk through the door and they have all the clothing separated by decade, style, era, material type, clothing type, and you can just kind of sift through all the clothing pieces and pick out what you want and then pay for each item individually. And then when you're ready to check out, the $20 that you paid at the door gets discounted from the total amount that you did pay. So that $20 of an entry fee does not get wasted. But I wanted to show you guys all the really cool, really neat vintage pieces that I ended up buying. Now, most of these items I believe are vintage. There might be a few pieces that are questionable as to if they're actually truly vintage, but either way, I really liked what I picked out and I just wanted to show you guys the items that I got. Also, side note before we jump into that, if when you see me trying on clothing, you see that I have a blue bandage on my arm, it is not because I was hurt or in danger or anything. I went to a blood drive today and was actually able to donate blood and I was super, super, super excited and happy to be able to do that. I am O negative, so I have a very rare blood type, which means that I am a universal donor. So anybody, no matter what your blood type is, they can give my blood type to that individual without needing to know their blood type because I am a universal donor. This is probably the first time since college I've been able to donate because I've been very anemic and was going through that journey and am now fully better and am lucky enough to actually be able to donate. So I was super happy to roll up my sleeve today and donate some of my blood. And quick PSA, if you're eligible to donate, if you can donate, please, please consider doing so. There is a very critical shortage on blood in many, many areas. I know in the area that I live in, there's definitely a shortage of blood. And during COVID, a lot of people weren't able to donate because the drives just weren't really happening. So now that people are kind of out and about more, there's an increased need for blood and an also an increased need for donation. So if you are able to, I beg you, please go donate blood. You will feel so good after and it's just great to help somebody out. But anywho, let's dive into the clothing pieces that I got. I kind of tilt the camera down so you can see these clothing items better. And I'm not really wearing the best undershirt for this, but for things that need an undershirt, I'm just gonna wear my t-shirt. But the first thing I got was this short sleeved bowling style shirt and it has dark green and white stripes and i don't think i'm really gonna wear this as a button down as in you know like kind of button all the way down the front it has a really nice length to it but what i do foresee myself doing is wearing like a high neck tank top with it in the summer with some biker shorts kind of like i'm wearing right now and just styling this as a nice loose piece and using this as a layering piece rather than its own clothing item next thing I got is also a button down. Definitely really nice in the length. And again, not something I think that I will be buttoning all the way down to wear. I mean, I can if I want to. But what I really liked about this clothing item is it felt like a very friend style Chandler Bing bowling shirt. And Chandler Bing is my favorite character on Friends. But I just felt that the material of this was so soft. I can definitely wear this with other things. I am a lover of short sleeved, styled tops because I always find myself pushing up my sleeves when I do have long sleeves but this was just kind of nice flowy light definitely something I see myself wearing in the summer paired with either biker shorts denim shorts maybe with a bathing suit as a cover-up but we'll see this is the next thing that I got it is a hard rock cafe Cleveland shirt and it says on the tag on the inside, it says heavy tee, and in all honesty, it is like a thicker shirt, but it has this really cute image on the back. 
and this shirt is definitely well loved the neckline's a little stretched out it definitely has some holes as you can see but i just thought it was such a well loved and broken in and comfortable tee that i can definitely layer with other things in the summer if i'm out and about i'm definitely running around in things like biker shorts as i obviously keep saying or just athletic shorts and i feel like this is such a cute little top to put on maybe layering it with some necklaces and wearing with some Birkenstocks or some sandals. I know some people might question like, oh, why would you buy something that has a bunch of holes in it? But I feel like you can literally go to Urban Outfitters and something like this with the holes and the rips and feeling like it's a little well-loved would sell for so much money. I see a lot of girls walk around with those beat up Nirvana tees and this kind of gives me that vibe, but I paid probably $10 for this. And I don't think it's gonna fall apart any soon. I definitely feel like it was made out of very good quality material and will last me a while. And if you're seeing all these wrinkles on this shirt, it's just because I washed all of these clothing items and I'm so happy that I did because it was nasty. This was the next piece that I bought and it is a very nice, very loved, very worn in Santa Fe t-shirt. I'm assuming they mean like Santa Fe, New Mexico. Alexa, is the city of Santa Fe in New Mexico? Alexa, stop. There was a giant bin just titled Graphic Tees, Vintage Graphic Tees, and that's where I found this shirt and the shirt that you just previously saw. So anybody who knows me knows I am an absolute sucker for comfortable t-shirts and will always go for the comfortable, well-loved, well-broken-in shirt rather than something that's a little more rigid or formal. I mean, I have to, I'll wear formal clothes when I have to wear formal clothes and I'm going on a rant now, but Basically, I just like to be comfortable and I thought this was really cute and again, super comfy. These bottoms were the next thing that I purchased. These are honestly, I think they're more like vintage swim trunks than anything because they kind of have that swimsuit feel and they have a mesh lining inside of it. But I really thought, I'll probably cut out the lining on the inside and just make these shorts. But I thought the pattern on them was just so fun, so cute, very 90s-esque. And I think this, with like a high neck crop top would be really, really cute in the summer or even just to wear with like my bathing suit as like a cover up on the bottom. But really loved these shorts. The next thing that I got was this really long, really, really pretty black skirt. This is the bottom of the skirt. It was kind of funny because when I found that skirt, I wasn't even sure that it was something that was for sale, but I only paid $15 for it. And as you can see, it has that gold sequins with the pretty blue sequins. And I feel like it would be so pretty as like a more formal piece in my closet. I don't really have many of those things, let alone skirts or like super nice dresses that I would consider wearing out on date night. But I will be going to a wedding in December, so maybe I'll consider trying to find a top to wear with this. If not, I need to wear it out somewhere this year. But I thought for $15, I couldn't go wrong. I was really, really surprised that I actually fit. I was surprised a lot of the things that I picked up fit because I wasn't able to try on the vast majority of the things that I picked out. I just kind of picked it up, you know, kind of did like spread my arms in the t-shirt to see if it would fit. Maybe did the whole pants around the neck thing to see if it would fit. And I was pleasantly surprised to find most of the items I picked out did honestly fit. But I thought I would just take the time to show you guys some of the awesome things that I found this week. My husband and I will be going to go see Oliver Tree in concert tomorrow at the Fillmore in Philadelphia. So I definitely plan on vlogging while I'm there and it will be a lot of fun. And then it's this week, next week, and then I go to England. Um, just to give a frame of reference, it's Alexa, what's today's date? It's March 15th and I leave for England on the 28th, which means I got a lot of packing I need to do. I have a lot of planning I need to do and I absolutely plan on bringing you guys with me for that. And this time I will not be forgetting my camera when I go to England. I will make sure I have it come hell or high water. <laughs> but fun things to look out for. I hope that you really enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the items that you saw about where I went shopping, please leave a comment below and I will be sure to answer them. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you soon.